to our first stop for the day. Okay, let's go. This is the new Tiongbaru Food Center, which opened in 1st June 2006. Chi Kue are steamed rice cakes topped with fried preserved radish. In the Tiongbaru Food Center, we then proceed on to the Marang Trail at Southern Ridges, located near the harbour front area. Mount Faber Park is one of the oldest parks in Singapore. From here, you'll be able to enjoy the panoramic view of southern Singapore. We are now at the highest pedestrian bridge in Singapore. Henderson! Waves! The wave structure can also be illuminated by LED lights at night. Near the Henderson Waves Bridge is the one stop gardening hub Hot Park. Reflections at Bukit Chandu is housed in a black and white restored colonial bungalow amidst the Bukit Chandu or otherwise known as Opium Hill. Here we are at Reflections at Bukit Chandu. The legendary battle of Pasir Panjang was fought in World War II. This was where 1,400 soldiers from the Malay Regiment fought valiantly against the strong 13,000 Japanese army. Dear soldiers, we salute you. Uh, Dude, high five! I say high five, man! Yeah! Chinese food. Chinese traditional costumes, Chinese decorations, cheap souvenirs. Chinatown! Chinatown, Kreta Aie, or Bulak Cut Water, got its name from the past where each household was forced to use bullock drawn carts to draw water from the nearby wells. There are many interesting places in Chinatown, such as the Chinatown Heritage Center, the Buddhist Temple, and also Chinatown Complex. On the second floor of Chinatown Complex is the food centre where there is a wide variety of Chinese delicacies that you can feast on, such as fried kway teow. Right now, let's try the renowned fried chocolate <laughs> Let's dig in. And there it is, the mouth-watering fried chocolate teow. Moving on. And here we are at Teka Center, where the most colorful saris in Singapore can be found. It is the four different types of alva. They are from different parts of India. This is Kesari. And this is Adirasam. These are Indian delicacies. Take a walk around Little India and you'll find that it's full of color, from fabrics to garlands and even coloured rice flour. Selamat datang ke Kampung Glam. Here we are at the Malay Heritage Centre, where all you need to know about the Malay culture is here. This is the place to be to learn more about the Malay culture. And also, you can drop by the Sultan Mosque to have a look at the interesting architecture. And not so far away is Bukit Street, Singapore's biggest shopping district, famous for its vibrant nightlife. While shopping, you can also drop by one of these stalls and grab a quick bite to eat. Behind us is the Kuan Im Tofu Temple. This is where many Buddhist worshippers pray to the Goddess of Mercy for good luck and blessing. It is one of the oldest Buddhist temples in Singapore. 
It was here that Singapore's first two HDB blocks were built. But now stand seven towers of 50-storey high HDB blocks. Right now, we're at the epitome of Singapore's public housing, the Nichols at Duxton. This 50-storey apartment block finished construction in 2009, and since then, it is the tallest HDB building in Singapore. Right now, we're at the 50th floor, where we can see Singapore's beautiful skyline. And now, we shall patiently, patiently wait for the sun to set. Prior to contrary belief, Orchard Road was previously not famous for its glamorous shopping centres, but instead its nutmeg, pepper and fruit orchards. Sadly, these orchards have been cut down since 1830s. Glutton's Bay is located around a 5 minutes walk away from the Esplanade Theatres by the Bay. The stalls here mainly serve local delicacies. Call this fried pancake, but to Singaporeans, it's a well known Indian roti prata. Roti prata served with curry. And this is the Malay fried rice, nasi goreng. It is usually served with anchovies or else known as ikan bilis to Singaporeans. Nasi goreng ikan bilis. And here on the Marina Bay promenade is the Marina Bay Sands, the new Art Science Museum, and the CBD area. Not forgetting the Marina Reservoir, the Esplanade, the Singapore Flyer, completing the Singapore skyline only after dark. Yakun Kaya Toast, preserving history since 1944.